At Health Alert now, as we are just two days away from the Super Bowl, this morning we're talking about <clears throat> Super Bowels. Kind of like Super Bowl, but completely different. When thinking about your gut health, it is so much more than what you are putting into your body. So for help, we enlisted registered dietitian Rachel Engelhart to join us on how we can achieve the so-called Super Bowl. Rachel, first of all, thank you for being with us. Second of all, I got to tell you, I've been looking forward to the segment about as much as I actually look forward to going to the doctor. So please take it easy on us this morning. Uh, here's my first question. It. When it comes to the gut health, and obviously this is, this is super important, right? Especially if we maybe don't eat the best over the next couple of days. Um, but the relationship yeah. between the mind and the body, how far can this go? The two are definitely connected. And um, if there's one thing that research has showed us is that the gut really is a very important part in how, you know, our, it's the second brain essentially. And so um, the two are definitely interconnected. And so we have to be intentional when we think about how our thoughts affect our bowels. Is there any way to, I guess for lack of a, of a better way of putting it, to, yeah. to make ourselves healthy, more healthy physically with that mental attitude? Like what, how, should, how should we be focusing mentally so that we're feeling better physically? Yeah, well, first of all, you know, thinking about Super Bowl Sunday, uh, you know, if you're feeling really anxious about the game and you're not actually playing the game, you know, it could be just reminding yourself that this is fun and, and trying to not take things so seriously. Stress, anxiety, um, and depression all play a really big role in how our bodies function. And so um, just trying to take a deep breath, remind ourselves that, you know, there are, there are things to do to help our mental health. It could be taking a walk. It could be talking to a mental health professional. It could be meditating. But taking those steps is so important for our, our gut health, really. Yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic point, especially, like you said, with the big game coming up. A lot of times you get a little more stressed out, maybe, or, or you have those those pockets of stress that might kind of, uh, you know, uh, be a little a little greater than they were in the past. Physically, though, if we'll move on from the mental health aspect of things, uh, we do eat a lot of food that maybe we're not used to eating and we do sit on the couch a lot. So it seems like step one is get up and get moving. Absolutely. That can be such a great reliever in terms of stress. And even if, you know, if we think about it as sitting less, so the game, probably you're sitting on the couch, hopefully you have some delicious food in front of you, you know, get up and high five a friend or take a walk around the block, you know, beforehand, get in a really, you know, a dance party in advance. And if, if your team scores, like start moving, dance a little, have fun with it. But that can have a really positive impact on it in terms of our our mental health and our bowel health. All right, well, there you go. So take halftime, right? Rihanna starts performing and get up and dance yeah. along and, and enjoy the yeah. show there. Get moving, right? I mean, it just, it just makes it simple. Party. Uh, yeah. Okay, so in general, all right, so forget about the bad foods we're going to eat this weekend. Uh, in general, if we want to have the, the healthy GI tract and have this super bowel that we're aspiring to get, uh, what food should we eat? What should we avoid? And how important is hydration? So really, I take a very moderate all food fits approach. I believe that all food can be part of a healthy diet, which means that have fun. Super Bowl Sunday is coming. Have a great time. I've seen so many Instagram posts, posts about the nachos that people are so excited to make, the wings, whatever it is. Give yourself permission to eat. So first of all, take away the guilt. All food is good food. Let's honor our bodies and really check in about what feels good to us. Um, and variety is key. So fruits and vegetables, if you can get some crudite on that platter, if you can get some high fiber items, maybe there's chili, beans are a great source of fiber, um, and, you know, protein, chicken, fish, meat, eggs, yogurt, all of these things offer such important, um, you know, ingredients for our microbiome to become healthy and well-nourished. All right, two, two things that I love that you just said. One, eat guilt-free on Super Bowl Sunday. And two, the mere fact that you mentioned crudite makes you want to come to your house for the Super Bowl party. So... <laughs> You're invited. Thank You're you. You're invited. Thank you very much. That's all I was looking for. Uh, Rachel, thank you very much. I hope everybody does have a great weekend and enjoy the game. But then just remember that the healthy eating should continue year-round. Thanks very much for joining us. Enjoy uh, your Super Bowl Sunday. You too. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you. That's registered dietitian Rachel Engelhart. There's more information if you want to check it out as well. So there you go, Tuck. You can eat guilt-free on Sunday. And just enjoy the game. Just try to get not so stressed out, but your team's not playing, so I think you'll be okay there. Steve, I got no dog in the fight, so I'm good, and I had no idea you were a crudite type guy. How many times have I asked you to provide that for me when I come over, and you are O forever? I know. I'm going to step up my game a little bit. you got to tell me again what it is. 57 now in Washington, 53 Dallas. Uh